Oh, hi there, and welcome again to BSF Recovery Team. Like I said in one of my last videos, Wrecker's got a problem. Lots of noise coming out of the rear end. And we have an event coming up. So, I think it's time to take it apart and see what happened. No big chunks of metal falling out with the fluid. That's a good sign. No chunks missing off the ring gear. I think it's just our G80 or our gov lock that we tore up. With the outside dual removed, we can pull the axle shafts and get the carrier out. Don't forget to mark or keep track of the carrier bearing caps so you can put them back in the right spot. With the carrier bearing caps removed, we could then loosen up the adjusting sleeves and pull the carrier out of the housing. With the G80 or gov lock now out on the bench, we could remove the ring gear and disassemble it to see what happened. When we pulled the ring gear off, we saw our first signs of damage, some metal shavings between the ring gear and the carrier. With the ring gear removed, now we can remove the three screws that hold the G80 together. suspected it was just the G80 or gov lock that we tore up. So we made a quick phone call to our friends at Yukon Gear in Randy's Ring and Pinion and they were more than happy to rush us out a brand new Yukon Grizzly Locker. Well here it is, Yukon's new Grizzly Locker. We got one problem though, we can't put this in the old G80 case. So we're going to have to come up with an open 410 carrier that we can stick this in. Fortunately, we do have a few spare 14 bolts laying around the yard here. So, I'm going to go get a 410 carrier out of one so we can put this in. Okay, we found an open 410 carrier. Now we'll take it apart so we can put the Grizzly in. Oh, looks like we need to do some cleaning before we put this together. With a clean carrier and the spider gears removed, we can now set the Grizzly in their place. By now, some of you might be wondering, if I run 513 gears in the wrecker, why on earth would I be putting them together on a 410 carrier? Well, it's because the Yukon 513 ring gear is what they call an extra thick ring gear and designed to be mounted onto a 410 carrier. When installing the ring gear, I like to start all the bolts, at least a few threads by hand, before I tighten any of them up. Then, I turn the carrier over to snug up the bolts. You want to draw up the ring gear nice and even. This is done by using an alternating pattern on the bolts. If you use an impact like I am, be very careful not to over tighten any of the bolts. Then, I torque them to their specification. Again using an alternating pattern. After all the bolts are torqued, you're almost ready to put the carrier back in the housing. But there's one more thing. Don't forget to remove the little bolt and washers that hold the locker assembly together for shipping. Otherwise, you'll never be able to get your axle shafts back in. With the carrier back in the housing and the bearing cap snugged up, I can now set up a dial indicator to check ring gear runout. If the ring gear is running straight, the next step is to set up the dial indicator on a tooth and adjust your backlash. On a 14 bolt, this is done by adjusting those threaded collars on each side of the carrier bearings. With our backlash and preload set, now we can tighten up the carrier bearing caps. But before I do that, I like to make sure that the wire 
locks line up with the holes in the adjusters. If everything lines up, we can now torque the bearing caps and install the wire locks. Because I never removed the pinion, my pinion depth should not have changed, and the gear tooth contact should be good, but we're going to paint the gear teeth and check it anyway. The gear teeth get painted with a special gear marking compound, and then the ring gear gets rotated through the pinion. A little tip here, in order to get a good clear pattern on the teeth, you want to rotate the ring and pinion gear by driving the pinion and putting some resistance on the ring gear. That way the gears squeeze out the paint where they make contact. If the pattern in the ring gear tooth face is centered, then everything is good. We're ready to button it up. Oh, look at that, fuzzy. But we better not forget to fill it with fluid. Well, the wrecker's all back together now with a new Grizzly Locker. I don't know about you, but I'm dying to try it out. Yeah, Yukon Grizzly Locker. I love it. Thanks for watching. Maybe we'll see you in the woods.